Hi, this is Jenny Fern, and today I want to talk a little bit about um, taking time away from words uh, when you are trying to write something. And this is something um, I've been thinking about more recently after reading a book called Becoming a Writer by Dorothea Brand. And basically, there are some tips for how to get your brain thinking about, you know, writing and your story. And one of those tips is to uh, remove yourself from so many words. And I think this is something that I've had some trouble with since, you know, having phones and stuff like that. Because whenever I'm doing some monotonous task, like painting the attic ceiling, I can, uh, you know, <laughs> just put in a podcast and zone out for a bit. And so I've been using the time that I am doing other things that, that aren't word or writing related to let my mind wander into my story. And it doesn't always go there. Sometimes it's filled with nothing <laughs> or just like uh, worried about work and stuff like that. But recently I've been finding it really valuable uh, when I go out on walks with my dog to just let my mind think about my stories and recently I've been writing some short stories after I did a, um, a month of writing prompts. I'm looking at some of the best work that I had from that and the most compelling ideas that I had from that to write some short stories. I also recently got a typewriter, so I've, I've been playing around with it, trying to figure out how to not be terrible at using it. Um, but anyway, when you have time away from words, from listening to videos or listening to podcasts or, or watching TV, reading a book, you allow yourself to drift into your own story fairly easily and I find that I have like a lot of good story ideas in the shower for example where there's nothing else going on and so I've kind of been um, more comfortable in these silences throughout the day and um, more pleased with them because I know that they're useful for my writing process. So I've found that that's a pretty um, exciting tip, I don't know, um, because it, it is really easy to, whenever you're doing something monotonous, to just, you know, start listening to something. And I think it's really helped me to take some time to deliberately remove myself from that, to deliberately go into silence. And so that's how I feel when I go out on walks with my dog um, out in the field. I feel like I am allowing myself the time to, you know, go out for a walk, to experience nature in some sort of way, and then to also um, give myself a break from all of the words and language and, and stuff like that that goes on all the time. So as I mentioned earlier, I've been working on some short stories. Um, I've written two so far. One is this one that I'm typing on the typewriter uh, called Garden Day. And then I worked on another one called, um, oh, I think it's called Blending In. Oh, I don't remember. Uh, oh no, I guess it wasn't a very good title. Um, and now I'm working on one that has, at least for now, the title Hibernation. So I'm kind of excited for when I take my shower this evening because I'm going to be thinking about my story Hibernation. Um, at least hopefully. Sometimes, sometimes your mind is like too preoccupied with other things and it is really hard to get into, you know, that piece of yourself. Um, the story piece. 
So I thought that that was a helpful tip and I just wanted to share that. Um, like, it's, it's hard for me sometimes to not think of that time as like a waste of time, but at least the way that this book phrased things, uh, it's kind of like a lot of writers have like wordless hobbies, like, I don't know, knitting or woodworking or something like that where you can kind of zone out and get into your own head for a little bit into your own words for a little bit so i hope that helps some of y'all <laughs> so i i did get better at the typewriter stuff um but it was <laughs> such a steep learning curve having never had a typewriter ever I was just like, oh, so that's how it works. But I'm so excited to use it more. Um, I've been doing a haiku a day thing on the typewriter, and I found that really fun because you get like an actual result really immediately. So anyway, I'll, I'll talk about that later. So I hope you enjoyed. Uh, thanks for watching.